Okay, it looks like we're live. Hello, world. How's everybody today? Good, glad to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> we're on Palimpsest Live. It's like the talk show you've always dreamed of where we feature art that goes around the world. We, we uh, each consecutively work on a piece and then send it to somebody else. So um, I'm Ross, I'm in Los Angeles, in my Los Angeles studio. And on the same coast, Rose Williams in Vancouver and kind of moving uh, east, right? Toronto brings us Stephanie McLean. Hi, Stephanie. And then <laughs> next to Montreal in St. Jerome is Denise. Hi, Denise. Hello. And then way on the other side of the world where it's already tomorrow is Cheryl Wilcox wearing a bright, bright red. And boy, don't you look like a million bucks today. You do. You look great. <laughs> no, really, that color's fantastic on I've you. I've got my Christmas outfit on. Ah. Hi. Well, we were just showing. I feel very underdressed now. I have to yeah. say. Yeah. We were just showing our, our, um, our painting frocks, I guess you could say. I just got this new lab coat, and Rose has a lab coat, but she's not wearing that today. And then Stephanie was showing her smock, and then Denise was showing her painting pants, which are practically <laughs> practically stand up on their own. <laughs> almost, almost. Crusty, you might my say. husband is very adamant that I should buy a pair of new ones, but I figured these still work, so. You can frame them. Frame them, that's right. <laughs> or send them someplace else around the world and we'll all make some marks on it. That's right. And that must be time for us to... Oh. Um, to, to have our discussion about uh, our, our feature picture today, which is painting, we have these wonderful names, painting A, B, C, <laughs> E, E. What are we calling this one today? This is painting A, the lily pond, painting for, for lily short. Pond, for short. But I think that we're probably having some kind of a, not a contest, but like a, if you want to name a painting, send us your ideas yeah and we'll we'll, we'll probably use the good one yeah <laughs> that's our logo let's check our sound this time i know that's what i was just thinking <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Yay! Who's Harrison Wilcox? Is that your son? Yeah. Oh, fantastic! Yay! We're keeping it all in the family here with the music for the different videos, aren't we? Oh, yeah. It's so fun. Yeah, that's great. We're, we're all concerned about copyright, aren't we? It's all yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get Oliver to play a drum solo for the next, yeah, <laughs> the next <yeah>. painting. <laughs> no, do I love it. Send it to me. Just do it in Garage Brand. Just do a few layers. I was thinking of doing that too. That would be awesome. Uh, yeah. Wow. yeah, that was amazing. That was an amazing picture. Yeah, can we have a little applause for the awesome video that Cheryl made? Yay! It's getting better. Yay. It's great. I love it's it. Great, fabulous. You guys wow. are there was rocking. so much going on in this whole production between the video and the music and the artwork itself and the headshots. <laughs> Yeah, so the doing shots work well, don't they? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do. I yeah. love the little bit of um, unpacking from Stephanie in the beginning. That was really cool. That was very nice. Yeah, I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Can we replay it? No, I'm just kidding. I don't write. It's you have funny. to rewatch it now. I will. I will. <laughs> I, I must have been doing something else. I must have just been sidetracked or something. <laughs> So aside from spacing out, did anything else stand out for anybody? <laughs> I, I really think that this painting is one of the the ones that uh, is the most cohesive as as a single piece. It could have been yeah. painted by one artist, in my mind. In my mind, anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. Uh, I, I really. I really noticed and sort of had jumped out to me is how each time Lara does an intervention, it's always something kind of like, you know, like she brings that abstract quality to each piece, no matter what we keep giving her. And I just loved it. I saw, oh, like there's the swirl. Oh yeah. It's, yeah. I brought it kind of like um, color theory. Right. And it kind of pulled it up and mm -hmm. it was sort of bold abstract yeah. intervention and I thought oh yeah wow. yeah fabulous yeah. I love it. but it still yeah. works in the in in as a as a um, in a whole composition I feel yeah, it does yeah as a motif it, it actually helped the rest of us kind of go from there it did, mm -hmm. it did. you know uh, one thing I was really taken by was how Julie had painted the koi fish and how she had put it behind the the first lotus flower and it's like oh yeah like I don't know, you know, we all understand how these things work with pictures, but like for a moment, I wasn't really thinking how a picture really works. You know, how does mm, something look mm, in the foreground mm. or the background and when you can put it in, right? It's like, it, yeah. we defy time by making these pictures. And um, and that's kind of what you're saying too, Rose, this, this thing that Laura had put in, um, you know, change the trajectory by changing the kind of time frame that it could, that it could live in. And then it also gave Denise this, opportunity to put something right on the surface of the water yeah that really activated the whole thing yeah. it was like oh wow so inspired yeah so inspired i remember uh, when i was working on the piece i think it was round about that time that cheryl uh we discussed you discussed on on here uh about going deeper into the pond mm -hmm. and and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah really like uh like looking and then looking through the surface and, and going deeper down yeah so i was inspired it's, by that yeah. it's an interesting concept isn't it that with, with, with the lily pond that you have all these different worlds and even with that shape that lara put on it it was actually saying well this is another world this is a telescope of a world this this one over here is and i always sort of think that shadows are really interesting um yeah, I, yeah. Um, also, I think the shadows are really interesting is that concept of, you know, I always sort of think of, um, I, I don't know, you know, the shadow of myself. Um, it's a really interesting concept also as you go into layers anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And the same and the simultaneous surface and depth um, visual mm. kind of yeah. play, right? The tension yeah, yeah. between, you know, is it the depth or is it the surface? 
Yeah, it's kind. Yeah, it's fun to muck around with, isn't it? It's a really yeah, and that's always the nice thing about water, isn't it? When you're looking at water, it's just so weird how it's transparent, but yet it's yeah. I know water is just does my head in. <laughs> is that what you well, I just realized that I find really interesting if we look at each of these pieces is that each of us has had a chance to or sort of step in each other's worlds because Cheryl, yeah. you've been really working on these lily ponds while my piece, for example, was more of a cityscape and, and you all got to step into there. And then Ross, you often yeah. have these sort of surrealist landscapes happening and mm -hmm. Rose with your, uh, your nature related. We really go yeah. deep in, into there as well. And, and uh, the marsh and, and you're more, uh, Stephanie, more um, like you're, you usually do, portraits but even the hand mm -hmm. could be considered sort of a portrait yeah. like yes like, portrait of a hand yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> yeah well about character right and about we're character. still waiting yeah. for that hand <laughs> <laughs> i know hand. i'm also was... still waiting for that check from the from the um for the uh shipping but everything's been held out because of this even me i couldn't finish because i had to go and print to put in the pad, the photos in the passport, and I can't get to the place to print. Uh, I yeah, that, that was my problem. Wires, and I'm not going out there. Rose, can you, can you tell everybody why? Because we know, but the people outside of this don't. Oh, the, the, the why is for me to, to, to finally ship my larger panel to the next artist. And we are accompanying them with these lovely passports that were beautifully designed by Stephanie. And they're just, um, we got to put Antony's. our pros and <laughs> we're putting images of our process into them so that by the time they're done with all each, all six artists, they're going to be a document of each painting's evolution and intention and everything visually. So I'm excited to go print the images. I just have been a little held up because of the yes. So Rose, I have to ask you in the passport, did you do did you include a picture of your brother's wall? <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be real pissed at me if I do that. <laughs> like, you might need to pay him a little extra. <laughs> honestly, they are the the walnuts. I mean, on oh, a certain level, oh. they are part of the process because the walnut dye is what I use to get the dark brown. So yes, they're in there in their own way, Stephanie. Right. Okay. Good. <laughs> Wouldn't want to miss that. <laughs> yes. Great. Yes. Uh, oh. Example. Well, I already know what it looks like, but yep, it, that's exactly. So, we can't hear you very well right now, Ross. No. Rats. Hold on. <laughs> Is this any better I like just that? Love that? Yes. Oh, yeah. yes. We lost I was our saying mind. that this is an illustrated example of what Rose was just talking about. I just got yes. this from uh, from Stephanie. It's it's a beautiful box from mm. Master Pack, which I found out is an American company. They make their boxes in America. And mm. boy, is this a nice box. And Stephanie put this beautiful tape on. It's this um whoops. And then it wouldn't Standing stick, so it covered it with black tape. Ah, how it I, mean, worked. Sick, but I didn't want to get rid of that tape because it was so cute. <laughs> super cute, super super cute. Okay, let's see here. I'm lifting you guys are the up lid. Up in the bar with the shipping of uh, accoutrement. I'm gonna. Ugh. Okay, here we go. So oh, I try to, to to. There we go. As nice as yours. Okay, so oh, I lift <laughs> off lift this off. Uh, waffle a, layer. Yeah, big thing to show. Yeah. 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 Maybe if I put the screen, is that better? Like Ooh, that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah sure. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now I'm going to. Wow. This is this beautiful, wrapped in um, glassine. Glassine. Thank you. I just couldn't find that word, but I did not, find not glycine. <laughs> something else. <laughs> glassine. Isn't it glassine? Yeah. Yeah. Glassine. Yeah. Oh, what did I call it? Is I call it glycine. No, no, I'm just saying it's not glycine because some people say glycine, but it's actually glassine. Oh, well, that's like how Canadians a, and an amino almost say acid. process. It's a process. Pa process. <laughs> I so I got process. here's here's the uh, passport. Yep. And inside there's going to be pictures and writings because we talk about our intention 
of what we're working on and we send this off to each other that helps to inform us of what we're going to be doing. So I'm all really I had done at first this. was, was um, clip the tape, but I hadn't. Um, oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> here it says Painting E, which is a wonderfully evocative title. Let's find out. And, <laughs> and what, is our, what is our theme here? Our theme is um, layers of um, discovery. discovery. Layers of discovery. I know, Ross, I was thinking transformation, but no, it's discovery. Oh, 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 no, it's oh, discovery. Oh, 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 I don't want to do anything to it. We'll get a stop right here. Ah. <laughs> Look how cool, cool this is. Oh, oh what is that, Stephanie? <sighs> wow. Oh, it actually looks better that way than horizontal. I like it better vertical. <laughs> now that you had, hold it Was vertically, this... I'm like, okay, I actually like it vertically. It could go. It does no. Right? It could be and yeah, it can be whatever. Look at That's this. Tell us about it. it. So Just this well, looks like it's done it. in spray paint and a stencil. Uh -uh. Yeah, I used a uh, I used a um a vegetable like barbecue pan. You know, with the holes yeah. in it. <laughs> you know what you use to roast vegetables. Oh, we had an old one, and so I used that for the uh, for the stencil part. But um, I have. Uh, I've never used spray, I have used a little bit of spray paint in like one or two paintings, but I really wanted to sort of explore that, the, the process and the technique, it's, it's, it's not easy. Like I, I thought, oh, it's, I'll just spray it, but it's not easy to actually try to control it and to create a design from it. Um, and I wanted to go with those colors because pink to me uh, represents hope. And I think that's what, for me, that's what keeps me going, right? Like every day I'm like, you know, these little maybe mini goals that we have in our heads or that I have in my head, I should say, is what are what sort of keep me hoping for, for something better or, you know, just evolution if that made any sense at all. But anyway, it's, it's all about hope. <laughs> I really so, like that you get to, you, you you say you cannot really control it much, but you 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 got some really nice straight lines there. Really yeah. great things happening. They're as straight so as I exciting. could make them. <laughs> I am um, really. I, I love. Um, it, it looks like some of the um, you know the um, American color field type sort of artist or yeah. you know it's that yeah. sort oh, of yeah. you know the Rothkos yeah. or and it's got yeah. is it um, Motherwell Frank Ma, um, the one who used to drip Morris Morris God I forgot Morris my Lewis. The guy Morris, who used to just Morris Lewis. Yep. Yep. Color stain. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Yeah. Yep. It does read very well on camera that. too. The uh, colors are really very, very similar and close. And I just love how actually, this actually, and they're right on trend. So I have what? Sure. so many clothes around which are orange. And that orange and pink and collections love of that. orange and pink. You've seen it too in the shop here. It's because we're 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 behind the world. So you probably had it last season. Seriously, because it takes that long to get here. Yeah. <laughs> well, seriously, our shops are just full of this pink and orange. Yeah, I love those two colors together too. And I actually like the I like that orange, but with a a bit of a brighter pink. But that's the pink that I have. Well, and I adore the to... texture, the, 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 the drippy paint. Yes. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I wanted, oh. yeah. And yeah. the panel, the, the, the wood cream. panel texture against yeah. the opaque is kind of cool. And the one so thing thank I you do something how to the... see it is the spray, how it, how it. The um, overspray. The overspray. Yeah. yeah it's really bothered me, but, 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 I, but, now, but then oh, I decided cool. to embrace it. Oh, it totally <laughs> yeah. works. It's like how it reflects this happening here. It's this echo of the dots here and here. Yeah. It's so good, and it's really dry. It's like not coming off at all. It's not flaking. Oh, good. Because yeah. that took a long time. It's, so, on, it's like a horizon. It's the other side of the water. It's the reflection oh. of the trees. I mean, it can be. I mean, that's what's so great about your imagination. Yeah, it can we be just anything. Stuff up. Yeah. See, it just looks better vertical. I think. I do. I, I don't know. Why. Yeah, I, I see it vertical. Did you do yeah. something to the panel uh, before? Yes. Yeah, so, so I wanted to say thank, thank you, Denise. Um, cause Denise, Denise Wishman Pilcher uses three layers of GAC 100 <laughs> to seal all her wood panels. And so I did the same <laughs> and then I put on, I sanded it and I put on, I think three layers of clear gesso sanding between each layer. Wow. So that's what wow. I did. Wow. And everywhere, and it, like the bottom, sorry. Is it an acrylic spray paint? It's acrylic spray paint. Yes. 
and all that and and the surface of this uh, of this board is completely sheer it feels like there's nothing on it nice it's amazing lovely it just feels like something being... you want to draw on because it's so toothy and nice yeah Oh boy, so I like have to contrast out a lot. Sisters. Spray really cans. Cool. Hmm? I don't know what. what? Do you have any ideas, Andrew? Oh yeah. <laughs> for oh, good. for a change, it's like I've got. I've only had had an idea this quickly when I worked on 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 yours, Denise. The um, when you had started painting. Mm -hmm. G. Um, yeah. And it's very consistent Great. with something else I'm working on too. So I'm very excited about that. Sweet. Yeah. Cool. I can't wait I to can't see. wait. So who yeah. is next on the list with that one, Ross? Oh, let's see. So that should be our um that that should almost be our New Year's um present, next shouldn't it? From Ross. Who does it go to? Cheryl. I'm so pleased about that because I want it to be next. <laughs> How are you getting no. on, Cheryl, with the other piece that we opened last week? I I find that one is is really um doing my head in because um <laughs> because when you named it a fog, and now I'm thinking because I have this thing I do with my students. If you name a piece of work, you have to name something first and exercise, and then you stop when it hits what the name is. So I've got to get rid of that out of my head. Yeah, but oh, that's the, the idea behind the name is that you can now give it a new name, right? Oh, that's right. You're allowed to rename it. All right. So because I can get out, why out and take that out. No, 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 well, because you, you have a whole new uh, passport yeah. page when you start filling it out. So you can give a new passport picture and a new name because the whole idea behind it right. was that our paintings are traveling the world and developing their personalities and growing and therefore also changing their name. Yeah, actually, and it's a new day and the fog has cleared because they've had 24 hours of sleep and now your head is cleared, isn't it? So you can see a little bit clearly because that jet lag certainly does, you know, um, <laughs> sort of it does it. <laughs> I love your imagination, Cheryl. It is fantastic. <laughs> Hard it's like when, when it's like when they name the baby, you know, you're like, you name the baby, and the baby is James Jones. I, and then the baby gets a little older and you start calling him Jimmy. And then yeah. the baby <laughs> gets a little older and he says, I don't want to be called Jimmy anymore. You gotta call me Jim now. You know? <laughs> <laughs> my that's what my so son happened to my dad. was always called Harry. He was always Harry. <laughs> and um he's real he's he was christened Harrison because I thought, oh well, you know, if he wants to, whatever. And 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 it, so it's kind of like a shock to me that he 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 writes it now as Harrison. I thought, oh my god, I have to write it like that because I had it as Harry. And my husband said, "Hey, he always calls himself Harrison." Oh damn! <laughs> <laughs> so it was fog when it was born, but now it's an infant, not a baby. So you could name it something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, I do. I think the sun's come out and it has burnt off some of the fog. There you go. That's very cool. Does. Sorry, Super can I just, cool. I might. I love it. Stephanie has problems hearing us and we cannot hear Stephanie right now. No, no. Well, because I was <laughs> muted. Oh, okay, I was you muted. muted. But, but I was having problems. So can everyone hear me? And yeah, I can hear everyone. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I saw it pop up on the screen. I'm following the, the feed just to make sure that we have sound after oh, okay. the last week's oh, okay. debacle. After our, yeah, our I heard, famous I episode 42. Yeah. <laughs> Just where we amass like tons of followers with no sound, so we we figured that we are appealing to the deaf and hard of hearing um, <laughs> community. Yeah, well, I think fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is perfectly fine. I just wish I knew yes. how to. Maybe, Welcome maybe. to all the coda. We know we're happy to have you. <laughs> yes. I think on this platform we have a, a closed caption option, just in case that helps anybody to. Yeah. That's good to know, Thank you. We do. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Um, I see different work in people's backgrounds. And in Cheryl's background, flowers. What is this going on here? Oh, that's a that's an that's an older painting. Um, what I did was, um, that was actually back in COVID. And I went out into my, um, actually, these funny, the funny um, white, um, Lilies are actually some sort of a weed that grow along the road. 
And so nice. I was sort of coming home from something. So I went, oh, my God, I like – anyway, so I got those. And I was having a few people were coming over and they were going to do a painting. So I got a big fish bowl and then the yeah. biggest vase I could find is stuck in the middle of it, put it on a huge bench. So – and that ginger plant is a weed, but it's about two metres high. So I went down the back of my house here and I got all of that. And then wow. my, my daughter, a, house, a, a tree fell on her house and they had all those beautiful, you know, those blue gum leaves. So I picked up all of those. And by the time I brought all this home, I sort of like I just chucked it all in. And then I had big palm fronds and stuff. So it was this massive still life because I wanted to see <laughs> how when these friends walked in who were artists, who I didn't, I, I met them at Life Drawing. And then we had COVID, so we couldn't go to life drawing. I wanted to see their look on the face when they walked in. <laughs> so that was how that one was born. So, you know, it was like this two metre sort of like great big. Because mm. <laughs> I just wanted to see them as they came in the room and went, what? What's going on here? Are you serious? You want us to paint that? <laughs> It's a fascinating painting, and I love it even is. the contrast between yeah. that and your and and the lily ponds that you've been yeah and the cool blues lately. This is a yeah, it's a wow. It's and how really many easels do you have? For goodness' sakes, sorry. How, much? how many easels do you have? How many easels? Do you Me, have? I actually ha I don't know about six. Nice. I nice. I just have a lot of these ones on wheels. Um, They're great. On wheels, that's great! Wow, yeah. mine's on wheels too. Yeah, that is good. Yeah, yeah mine too. That's like mine. Really? Love it. It's not oh, a very expensive one, it's, but it, look, they're on wheels, and so I think I might have about six of them. Yeah, so I have one big one. Yeah, wow. with a crank. You have one with a crank. I do. Have yeah, one I think I need one of those. Now, Rose, you've got something else on your easel back there too. You who know about when Cheryl mentions blue gum, you're like, yes, I know that when we're yeah. all like, oh, <laughs> I know. I'm just like, well, yeah. trident. For, I don't know. For botanical <laughs> printers or eco printers, as some people call it, uh, uh, eucalyptus um, is the queen of printers because there are so many different varieties, and you can mm. coat different colors of red and orange and yellows. So you get these hot colors from eucalyptus that you don't get from any other plant. Okay. And it's all natural. And in fact, you can use bits and pieces of the eucalyptus, the bark and everything to make a beautiful natural dye. And you can dye your wool orange with just bits and pieces that you find on the ground after somebody's cut down their tree. <laughs> Oh, That's awesome. Have you done that? Have you done that, Rose? Have you died like? Uh, I I actually discovered one massive eucalyptus tree growing in the downtown east side of Vancouver, which is very unusual for our climate. So I do regularly go for walks and collect off the sidewalk. I mm -hmm. haven't been brave enough to go and knock on their door and ask for some fresh. I'm just getting what's blown off the tree. So, yeah, right, very nice. Put on your koala costume and then go ask. Them. <laughs> Sure. And so what's in your easel? Is that is that a eucalyptus leaf based? Uh, no, this one, actually, the color comes from the uh, cochineal bug. And uh, those leaves are sumac leaves on that one. And um, it's a collage on there. And I'm painting in a howler monkey. Wow. Oh, what layers. Cool. Unbelievable. That is so cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> cochineal bugs that's like one of the driving forces for uh, the conquest of the new world i think was yes absolutely ross 100 percent. So, and it is, comes from the original technology of the indigenous people of guatemala and costa rica and belize they were the ones and they have been the ones to have the best and most deep knowledge of natural dye ah. mm. Very cool. Fascinating. Oh, Stephanie, you've got uh, yeah. Tondo's round paintings lined up in your back, which I think mm. I seen earlier <laughs> last week or something, but I don't think it was on this show. Yeah. I think it was on our private conversation. So what are yeah, you doing with all of these? Are you selling them? Um, selling them. Tondo's for sale. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> so they, <laughs> they, they, rep they represent either the elements <clears throat> of water or air this one's air these three are water with cancer uh cancer sorry my yeah can cancer <laughs> pisces and scorpio 
and then that's that's Gemini, uh, and the air painting is on the ground. But that's my water painting, <clears throat> and then we have the jellyfish. Just... Mm. <laughs> Love it. I still have to do my fire tondos and my um, earth painting and tondos. So are these designed to hang as a grouping in some kind of way? They are. So the the palette that I used, for example, for the jelly intuition painting, which represents the element of water in astrology, um, I use the same palette for the two jellyfish paintings and for the three uh, water sign paintings, the three water zodiacs. And then um, for the air painting, uh, which is over here back in the corner, I use the same palette for the three uh, tondos, which are all uh, portraits as that painting. Wow. So that's the idea is to have the same palette for the, the main painting and the three tondos for each element. <clears throat> that's fun. That's totally yeah, cool. Yeah, that's fun. I can see how you could, how they could be arranged on a wall as and yeah. kind of tie everything together. Oh, it's so cool. Exactly what I was thinking. Great idea. <laughs> No, it is. It's exactly what I I had my whole design in mind. <laughs> How good. I came up with like it. Like an installation or more like a... Well, just like something on the wall. I was hoping to... I didn't unfortunately get into the artist project, but I was hoping that that would be on the wall of the artist project kind of thing. So mm. we'll see. I mean, if it doesn't work this time, maybe at some point I'll, I'll do a, a solo show and I'll be able to display it there. Well, That's what always... I was going to say. Write a proposal for a solo show. Yeah, and yeah. See them all hanging together. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Start with that now. That's a good idea. Yeah, or you could, okay. do, a, you could even do a mock up and just do oh, that yeah. as, as your proposed which I've done. Um, vision. Yeah, nice. Which yeah, done. I've done that. Yeah, I did that with the. I did it instead of the artist project, but they didn't. It's okay. Yeah. It's all right. Expand I've done a lot your horizons. of people who apply. <laughs> Pardon me. Just expand yeah, your horizons with the proposal. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Denise, you've got something on your table, which I'm pr I pretty do. sure you're not ready to show. But last time, you were I can show something. it actually. I you can finished show it, it yesterday. Sweet, <gasps> um, sweet. Oh, this is truly just unveiling. I put a, a layer of um, an isolation coat on there uh, because I'm going to start varnishing soon. So I have to be a little careful lifting it. But I can show you what it is. Ooh, Ooh a little nice varnish, too. Wow. Well, this is one that you were working on. The... You were working on this in a reel that you did. Yes, I was. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I it's love it. a piece that I, and I rarely do this, but if you look at the back, you will see there's all kinds of other colors here. Oh, you that's the redone one. I painted ah. over something. Yeah. So there's actually yeah. a whole other painting underneath this. Sweet. Ooh. It, now, is this the one where you were experimenting with the different textured... I don't know Actually, what that's no, but I can grab Washi. that one for you because I know you were curious about it, but I haven't yeah. finished it yet. Well, I still need to paint. You don't need to be premature it. about it either. That's okay. Oh, nice. Wow. Wow. I like that. Wow, that's different, Denise. Yeah, I know. Them. That's so not your what so I this... did is that no, normally I create the textures by applying a texture paper. But now I used a stencil and an acrylic gel, which is what you saw in the picture what you were referring yeah. to. Ah. Which means that I can actually leave, like, this is still the bare wood yeah. right here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ooh, that's yeah. so cool. Very cool. So I still and need to the... go in and refine this. It's but... very cool. It you has a different pretty... feeling. It's kind of opened it up. It yeah, like opened it has. Frame yeah. of reference. It does. Yes. It does. It's Sweet. it's almost the opposite of the black because now yeah. it's like, yeah. Denise, yeah. I have to tell you something right away, and I'm I, because I, I want you to know that I'm not trying to copy you. <laughs> okay, I started I started on a, a portrait, and my idea is to have <laughs> lots of the wood showing. <laughs> the, so okay. just so you know. <laughs> so, well, it's the same that's thing. That's not my. my with, with, I don't own that. With your no, no, I know, but. With the piece that you sent, that there's a lot of wood showing too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. it's it's not like a. What does Cheryl say? Cheryl always that. says this thing. I mean, since last week, she's been saying this thing. Um, never let it. Never let it. Never good let idea, a good idea go to waste. That's it. Yeah. Never let a good idea go to waste. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. 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 Absolutely. Well, I'm working with the wood panel uh, texture too because I'm making sure it's like a it's going in there like a stain. 
with my dye. And even yeah, though I, yeah. I'm, I'm actually, I had to adapt my materials and I thought, oh, I got to mix this with um, some medium so that when you guys touch it, it doesn't just run. So then I, when I added the dye to the medium, of course, it changed the pH of the dye and changed the color of the dye. So How exciting. So with that I, good color? That's, what, that's what it is, like, Cheryl, when you work with dyes. Yeah. They, they're, they're alive and they uh, yeah. respond to like rainwater or tap water or hard water or soft. Oh, like, my like, God. Yeah. Anyway, so then I went, okay, I thought, oh, I'll just have to go with it. <laughs> Yeah, so I adapted, but it still was kind of like, a, I don't know, kind of sink, like looks like it's stained as opposed to painted. Ooh. Nice. So it's also kind of like messing with that wood grain and, and the texture of the wood is very inspiring, I find. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I agree. I love it. I'm yeah. just like, yeah. yeah, I just I just want to expose it. And that does reflect that we all, we, we discussed it and we decided that we were going to work on panel. And for mm. some of us, that was new. And we're exploring, like we're diving in, right? We're diving in and embracing this panel thing. It's kind of cool. Mm. It is cool. Yeah. So I don't know, it's 4.07. Yeah. Um, we're seven minutes over. Oh, aghast. Yeah. We are. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't I don't know if our sponsor minds that much that master pack or um, <laughs> would mind that we're mentioning their name twice in That's our right. program, but we do have to go. we've got some other things to do. We've all in the middle of our of our art making work days. So thanks for joining us today. And my friends, I'm so glad to see all of you and and we get to um, get to participate in this project together. Yeah, me too. So all righty. Bye everyone. Bye. Thanks everybody. But we're staying on to talk, right? Bye <laughs> Kale. End the live video. <laughs> We've got one minute. We've got one minute. End live video. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Sorry. <laughs>